good afternoon a few months ago I started talking about the way we talk that we need to correct it at this time it's very important or at any time in our spiritual growth it is very important it is imperative that we consider changing the way we talk if we are not speaking the word of God or if we are speaking negatively or if we are saying things that don't, God doesn't like we have to be careful about the way we talk with our family, with our friends, in our church, in our community. Um, in the book of Numbers, if you have the time to read chapter 14 of the book of Numbers, the fourth book in the Bible, um, there is a story that explains why the people of Israel died in the wilderness. And it was because of uh, murmuring, because of complaining, because of gossip. Because God doesn't like any, any of those things at all. So please let's consider changing our way of talking in a way that really uh, exemplifies that we are children of God. And I would like to read you Philippians chapter 2. We're going to read uh, only verse 14. And the word of God says, Do all things without complaining and disputing without complaining and disputing that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lights in the world amen as I said a few weeks ago we started the confessions of faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm going to read that briefly. The first confession, I will confess that I can. Because I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 I will confess material and spiritual provision because my God shall satisfy all your needs according to his riches in the glory of Yeshua the Messiah. Philippians 4.19 I will confess courage and valor because God has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's 2 Timothy 1.7 I will confess faith because God has allotted the measure of faith to every person. Romans 12.3 I will confess power and strength because the Lord is the strength of my life. Psalm 27, 1, the first part. And the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Daniel eleven thirty two. I will confess that it is God and not Satan that governs my life because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. 1 John 4.4 4. I will confess victory because God always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 2.14 I will confess understanding because God has made Christ to be our wisdom. 1 Corinthians 1.30 I will confess health because by his wounds I was healed. Isaiah 53, 5. And Jesus himself took my infirmities and bore my diseases. Matthew 8, 17. I will confess peace and calm because I'm turning all my anxiety over to God because he cares about me. 1 Peter 5, 7. I will confess freedom because the Lord is the Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians 3.17 And the last confession, I will confess freedom from condemnation and guilt because there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8.1 so the new series that I'm starting is called When You Say. 
we're going to learn to correct ourselves. When we start saying something we shouldn't, then there is the word of God that corrects us and gives us a word of faith, a word of courage, a word of inspiration and of motivation, because that's what we need to be speaking at this time. So when you say, I can't resolve my problems, I can understand because we have great limitations. But listen to what God tells you today. I direct your steps. And that's in Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6. Please read it at home. And we will continue with this series, When You Say, for a few weeks. And uh, in the meantime, my brothers, my sisters, I love you. May the Lord richly bless you. And let's consider once again changing the way we speak. God bless you.